Dinesh, can you hear me? Uh, hi, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, hi, John. Can you hear me? Okay, Devesh, can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Fine, I just had to reconnect to get the audio going. Okay. All right, we'll just give it a couple minutes and then we'll uh, get right into it. Thanks for everyone for joining this morning or this Afternoon, where are you located? And I'm going to get the uh, presentation here pulled up. Hi, John. Bobby, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm just trying to make sure I'm pulling everything up here. Okay, so I guess uh, let's go ahead and kick it off. Everyone, thanks for uh, joining today for the Onboarding and Documentation Task Force. I'm John Carpenter and uh, looking forward to working on the mentorship that we have running now for the onboarding side of that. And uh, I'm going to be doing interviews this week and then uh, selecting the final candidate that we're going to be working with over the next few months. So at this point, I'd also like to go ahead and turn it over to Bobby, let her introduce herself, and then maybe we can go around and have other people uh, jump in as well. Hi, everybody. I am Bobby Mascara. I am running the other task force, the documentation task force. Um, so what the documentation task force is about um, for the people on the call, is just trying to organize the uh, community materials and making it easy for people to uh, keep the look and feel of Hyperledger going uh, while have their own, uh, you know, choice from the templates and, and and stuff like that with the GitHub repositories. Make it easy for them to figure out what needs to be in each one and give them templates, to, you know, to get that done. We have a great team of people working on that, and I'm hoping, you know, when it's uh, or my turn to go through this, that people step up because this week at the technical steering committee meeting, technical oversight committee meeting, um, both the onboarding and technical uh, and documentation task force uh, are presenting. Um, so I was, you know, keeping them up to date as to what's happening. So a little later in this hour, I'm gonna go over what's up to date and what's happening and maybe ask for volunteers to, um, out of some of the candidates, 
uh, to possibly help with the presentation for the technical steering committee and maybe even do some presenting if they're comfortable. So uh, back to John for onboarding and I will talk to everybody when it's uh, time for documentation. Great, thank you very much, Bobby. You did a wonderful job on that and uh, looking forward to the output from that mentorship for sure. Okay, uh, let's just go ahead and touch base with everyone. And what I'd like you to do is give a little overview what you're involved with in this task force here. And then I'd also like to know if you've applied to either the onboarding or the documentation mentorship, uh, just so we have a feel for who's on the call. And I'm just gonna start here with uh, Akasha, uh, would you like to go first? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. Firstly, my name is Akang Sharani, and I am a, a social supermore from uh, near New Delhi, India. And I am currently pursuing Bachelor in Technology in Electronics and Communication Engineering with specialization in Artificial Intelligence. And I have been attending all the weekly calls like uh, I have attended quite of them. So I actually have the idea of the program as like uh, uh, John Sir and Bobby Ma'am has explained till now. And yeah, I have applied to documentation and uh, onboarding both of them because both of them matched up to my skill sets. So uh, I really look forward to contributing to the project. Like I have seen the documentation that it was prepared by Bobby Ma'am. And I think like I'll be able to contribute uh, and give my best if I get uh, in the program. And yeah, I would love, love to work with both of you. Okay, great. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to Yash as the next person to uh, let us know what's going on. Yash, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, no problem. I was Hello? gonna move on to the next one. Yeah. Okay, Josh, you have so, the floor and just give a background and what you're interested in and uh, have you applied to the mentorship? Uh, so hi, hello everyone. Uh, myself, Yash Pimple. I'm a junior currently in my second year and pursuing my bachelor's degree in computer science from India. And I have been a keen interest in cloud native and uh, DevOps. So. And I have a quite a quite a good experience by contributing to other projects, CNCI projects. I'm currently a contributor to Captain and uh, mainly in documentation part. And I would like to contribute towards the uh, Hyperledger documentation. Uh, and I have applied uh, to the onboarding you know, uh, mentorship program. Yep. Yeah, that's all from my side. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much, Josh. Great to have you join us. Okay, how about the other Yash, uh, Yash Kataria? Hello, sir. Uh, my name is Yash Kataria, and I am currently a third year, a pre-final undergrad student majoring in information technology from New Delhi, India. Uh, currently, I have been working and contributing in the blockchain technology for quite some time now. Uh, and I also have a some few good projects that have helped me in various ways, hackathons like Eth India and one at Delhi Technological University. Uh, I'd love to contribute to the Hyperledger's documentation and onboarding task force if given a chance. And I also joined the meeting last week and have a few insights on what work has to be done actually and what changes are required. I uh, I'd love to contribute to it in any way required. Thank you so much. Great. Well, thanks for joining us today and uh, really appreciate it. Let's move on here. And I'm just looking, everybody who's uh, also come off mute here has also been on the screen share that I'm showing here. So I'm just verifying that everybody's on there. Okay, Elena, how about uh, you go next and let's hear about what's your interest here. I can see you went off mute, Elaine. I don't, I'm not hearing your audio. Is anyone else getting Elena's audio? Uh, can you hear me now? 
Yeah, now I can hear you perfectly. Oh, okay, perfect. Nice, nice. So, hello, uh, my name is Elena. Uh, I'm with Exact Draw. I lead the documentation practice there. So we are just trying out the um, doc ops uh, paradigm uh, when the uh, documentation portal is rolled out out of the GitHub repository. So this is the area this, uh, that is of great interest to me. And uh, I'm really excited about what this group is going to achieve. So uh, I'm really curious in how things are uh, going um, in this group, and if I can contribute in any way, uh, I'm open to that too. Thank you. Great, Elena. No other question I had for you is, I think we covered this on the mm -hmm. last call, but yeah. you were interested in the documentation side, not on the onboarding side. Is that correct? Uh, that, that is correct, yes. Okay, good. Because if you were interested in onboarding, I was going to add you here, but I think, you know, from our last conversation, you more like the documentation. Okay, perfect. Uh, Osama, if you want to go next, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. I hope you can uh, hear me well. Yep, you sound great. Thanks. Uh, so my name is Osama, and I'm currently doing engineering software from Technical University of Beethoven here in Netherlands. Well, my main interest is Belizeo Hyperledger, and I have been working in a industrial and corporate environment related to um, blockchain and those just into fabric and indie so i was looking forward to work on a documentation side now uh, i guess uh, this documentation is going to help me with my uh, phd degree because most of the work is mostly related on thesis and you know uh, documentation and stuff so if i am actually you know if i am contributing to it directly it's going to help me a lot so that's really my take Okay, perfect. And uh, so it sounds like you're more focused on documentation. Do you have any interest in looking to contribute on the onboarding side of this working group? Uh, well, I can give a look, sure. Uh, but I think I can send you a message once you know I put through all the details. Right now, I've just been you know uh, concentrating more on the documentation side more on the onboarding. So once I have uh, you know full picture of it. I can give better, you know, uh, command or something. Maybe I can send you a message after that. Yeah, yeah. and feel, feel free to add your name to this page that I have open here, which is the onboarding side, if you're interested. And then, you know, cover sure. what you'd like to do on that. Or if sure. during the course of the uh, meeting, you decide to, you know, say, yeah, I'm, I would be interested in enjoying that component, then just in the text, if you want to just go ahead and add your name, your email, and what you're interested on the onboarding side, then we can add you to it right now. Sure. Uh, yeah, I can add it over there. Thanks a lot. Okay, perfect. Uh, next, over, Devesh. Uh, hi, John. Hi, everyone. I'm Devesh, and I'm pursuing computer science from India. I'm a full stack developer, and I'm looking forward to contribute my skills to the hyperledger and I'm applying for the onboarding task force, but I still want to want to voluntarily contribute to the on, uh, documentation task force also. And uh, I uh, recently started learning blockchain. I'm looking forward to learn more about hyperledger and its community. Thank you. Okay, perfect. I think that covers everyone on the call. I don't think I've missed anyone. And so let's just talk a little bit about what's happening this week, because this is an important week for this task force and what Bobby and I are working on. So right now, this week, we're going to be doing interviews with those candidates that applied to the mentorships. And then after we do the interviews, it'll be narrowed down to our final selection for each one of these two programs. And then the person will actively be engaged in working on the mentorship for the next few months. But what I want to say is, even if you're not selected for the paid side of the mentorship, we always want to have more contributors and uh, would love to work with you, you know, through this task force, if you're not part of a specific mentorship. And so just keep in mind that, you know, there's opportunity regardless 
and we want everyone on this call to be a part of this group and really to push this forward. So Bobby, you wanna say anything additional about the documentation side or how the TOC views everything here? Um, do you want me to start doing my whole thing or are you, uh, are you? I would be fine. I would be fine with you doing your whole thing, Bobby. Excellent. Hold on. I was, just grabbing, I was just grabbing yep. a link and then I'll share my screen. Hold on just a moment. Welcome everybody, by the way. Um, where's the link I want? And I'm going to stop sharing now, Bobby, and turn it over to you and you'll do a wonderful job of oh, giving thanks. everyone the details. Okay. I got what I needed. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So first off, uh, again, welcome everybody. I'm going to put, um, this is just for any of the, um, and it doesn't look like there's any of the mentees for the documentation task force candidates that haven't scheduled. Everybody who is a candidate and on the call has scheduled. So I think, let's, well, we can check that in a minute. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to share the screen first. So actually two kind of things are going on with documentation right now. And the first one being the task force. Uh, so a few months ago, uh, the new TOC uh, went over a list of uh, nine or 10 um, areas of the community that needed improvement. And uh, that meant that they picked uh, one of the TOC members and apply them to a task force and, you know, get to the bottom of it. And documentation was one of those task forces. So was onboarding. So the documentation task force has goals and deliverables that they have to meet. And um, one of them is presenting uh, periodically to the TOC, which is this Thursday. Um, another one is to, you know, get the deliverables and wrap it up as quick as possible because there's a lot of other task forces coming down that could use the uh, TOC resources that have been um, tied up in this task force, like this call, for instance. Uh, so the task force itself has some um, specific things that need to be done. Um, but first, we back up the antitrust policies on the screen. This is a Hyperledger sponsored Linux Foundation call, so we have to abide by certain uh, antitrust policies and codes of conduct, all are linked on the screen. You can look them up yourself on the wiki page. Um, so if anybody has any questions, you can reach out to me after the meeting. So that is um, the antitrust policy. Um, I think I got everybody's name. Um, if you're not there, you can edit this. If your name is not on the list, you can edit this page um, and put it on the list. Um, so then the first thing uh, I want to talk about uh, before I get into the uh, mentorship stuff is the presentation to the task force this Thursday. So kind of what the time frame um, and, and like a summary of what's going on, I think I started with a little summary, um, but what the task force is supposed to do basically is manage the documentation side for the community in all areas. So for instance, um, that's talking about uh, if you are a maintainer of a project or a lab maintainer that's thinking of a project, what should your GitHub repository look like and where do you find these resources? Um, same thing with a uh, special interest group chair. So special interest groups are these consortiums of industries, um, competitors that are working together uh, due to the nature of blockchain. Uh, can streamline their processes um, through these permission channels that some of these, you know, fabulous Hyperledger blockchains offer. Um, so that's another um, set of documentation that needs to be um, dealt with. And as I'm saying these things, all of these, these documentation needs have um, points where people onboard to get them, which is why one of the things in this uh, list of areas of deliverables to the to the TOC is working with other task forces. So um, I don't know why. Oh yeah, that's right there. So working with other task forces. So for instance, uh, this tab right here 
is the best practices task force, which is the other one that we work with besides onboarding. Um, and at the end, you'll notice there's a documentation tab that, says, <laughs> sorry about that, a documentation tab that says passing. Well, how do you, how do you get there? What, what documents do you need to get passing? Is there a place, because I'm pretty sure there's not, where a, a maintainer can go, well, I'm sure there is, but it's hard to find. A maintainer can go to find this information out without too many clicks and too many searches. Um, likewise, with the onboarding task force, the other deliverable would be to work with onboarding um, those spots that they have determined to be the landing points for all of the um, people coming into the community, no matter where, whether you're a coder, whether you're a businessman, whether you're just someone interested in the environment and want to work on the climate action. I mean, wherever you're coming in from, the onboarding task force is going to make sure that you get one or two clicks away from the information you need to get started and get the job done um, in the Hyperledger way. Now, the Hyperledger way is now our other uh, deliverable, which is brand information and templating stuff. So again, when I first came into the community, there was this great folder on Google Drives that had PowerPoint suggestions, uh, meetup, uh, advertisement uh, templates, meetup templates. It had uh, all kinds of fabulous stuff. Well, we're getting rebranded. So one of the things in this task force is to get that information again to where it needs to go, the branding information um, on the templates and uh, get that information out in an easy way for the community. And that's gonna filter down Again, user docs is definitely tied into the onboarding so that when people onboard, somebody's got to write these, and not long, but like directions and, and make sure, you know, I'm going to call it the libraries are set up so that people is researching how to do a white paper for Hyperledger. There's the template for a white paper and there's the Hyperledger uh, logos you can use in color schemes, boom, and you get started writing. So that that's like kind of more the user guides. We're not really asking you to create huge user guides for the uh, products, um, tools, or libraries. We're, we're asking you to help us get the information that those people are already creating um, linkable pages away. So um, that's basically what the task force needs to, by the end of this call, come to an idea. Um, I'm going to present that to the uh, TOC. What I'm going to do, because I'm a TOC member, I'm just going to do it like I did for you guys. Um, but they also like it if it's a little bit more showy or presentable. So if someone here wants to present this information on Thursday to the TOC, maybe work with other people on the call, um, I'm going to edit this page. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And I'm going to drop in a table. Um, okay, I can't spell today. Sorry. So I'm going to put, and I'm going to do the introduction. I'm going to wind up doing everything if no other names show up here, um, where I'm just going to introduce what we want to do. Um, I don't might not have slides. I probably, um, if other people are joining me, I might put some slides together for it um, to introduce people, but that's about it. So then we need a report on the GitHub. And again, a lot of people have volunteered to do that. If you're on the mentee um, application list and you're not sure if this is the project for you um, and you're not sure if you're staying, um, don't put your name down for task force jobs. Um, so you'll see how that, that'll work out. Um, I spelled this wrong. I gotta keep looking at the wrong screen. Okay, sorry. And again, um, the report on GitHub, I'm not sure what that looks like. Um, in so far as we have a directory, 
um, and I'd like um, someone to you know show the link to that directory, which is right here if you haven't seen it before. Um, and if you're interested in doing this, um, let me know if you want to set up a separate meeting. I'm kind of really busy this week, but all you say to the TOC is we have a meeting for this, you know, sub task force item um, later in the um, next week, and that would be great. Um, so uh, the directory needs to be updated um, and make sure it's fine to present to the TOC, and you would go through that template and say what everything the maintainers. This is for the maintainers to do or whatever. Uh, and then next steps would be the next meeting. Um, so again, uh, what did I do this wrong? I need to insert this, sorry. Oh my God, I can't do this today. There it is. Sorry, this is taking me so long. I should have had this done. Okay, so there is the GitHub repository. And then again, we don't really have anything on the templates. But when we do, it would be suggestions to the TOC where we feel templates would be needed. Um, so again, we used to have this great library that's archived from the Learning Materials Working Group for white papers, for for you know, all kinds of stuff. There's great resources there. Uh, where's that going to live? Again, and this is a conversation we need to have with like David and other people. Where's this stuff going to go? How are people going to click this from the website, from, from where to get to the templates they need to? Um, so the suggestions on that. And then next steps, which would be, you know, get together with David, set up a meeting, whatever the next steps are. And then the next one, um, really is not, you know, user docs is something that we're going to create out of onboarding and out of um, best practices. So there's really nothing to report on that yet until those other pieces are in place, uh, which are work with the task forces. So I'm just going to put the names of the task forces, which is best practices. And I did have, where did I put that? There is a link, um, and you can just probably Google it on the wiki page of um, suggested best practices or temp, uh, guidelines for that, um, and I'll put a link to that on there soon, um, for documentation. Um, and, and this task force would be responsible for um, kind of the same thing, suggestions on how to make that accessible as well as uh, next steps uh, to get that information where it needs to go and who needs to see it, what does that look like? So the next steps would probably be setting up a meeting with the chair of the best practices task force. Um, and then for onboarding, we don't really have to set up a meeting for that because John's on the call. Um, so that would also be suggestions, how we're going to support um, John and what, you know, next steps, you know, set up a meeting with the onboarding task force next week at this time to discuss, you know, their needs. And then here's the tough one for me is end of task force. So I'm not sure we're ready to end this on Thursday. Um, and the cycle kind of is every three weeks we present. So I might recommend, um, another month, I'm going to say, for the task force um, till we have these things really solidified. And that would be good because then the, um, the mentee um, will be helping out with this. Again, for me, everybody who applied as a mentee and wants to work on documentation is more than welcome to learn everything the paid mentor is going to learn. Um, you just don't have the management responsibilities that that person will have. Um, so it's worthwhile because I I'm a teacher, so I will teach you every software package we use, everything that's going on in the business um, enterprise world for support in software because um, that's what I do. So anyway, um, so that's basically, and I have to, 
um, moving forward. So that's basically it for the presentation um, on the task force to the TOC. Um, again, I would just do what I just did kind of now for them. Uh, we can make this more formal. We can play around with it. If people want to, you know, just put your name down here and create that section, um, that would be great. Um, but let me know. It's not necessary. Um, you can also put your name here and say you want to present in a month when you have more information, and I'll just do a quick report. That's up to you guys. Um, so I'm going to mute myself and ask John to comment and then open it up for everybody else's comment. Yeah, wonderful presentation as always, Bobby. Very informative and really appreciate the collaboration because you know your service on the TOC makes it where we can really get a lot of uh, good collaboration out of this task force. So I appreciate that. But what I'd like to do now is just uh, open it up to the group and see if you had any specific questions about either the onboarding or documentation mentorships, uh, you know, as we go through the interview process this week. And then we can just, you know, quickly address those on the call if you have specific questions prior to getting on any interview calls this week. So I'm just going to open it up to the group now and let anyone uh, weigh in on that specific item. So um, if I may, uh, I have a question about the documentation template. Uh, so my question here is uh, whether we uh, already, so is it already decided that uh, all the projects will be using this particular template? Um, this is the first question. And the second one, if so, um, so I uh, took a look um, uh, at the template and I can see that uh, in the upper uh, left corner, there is a, a drop down menu uh, that allows to switch between the projects. Does it mean that all the documentation will be stored in one repository, uh, like documentation uh, repository, or is this template uh, works in a way that it fetches the documentation from different repositories like for each project? That's a great question, uh, really good question. Um, so what we're doing more for the documentation standards is not um, hosting their information, but making it with onboarding task force easy for them to get to. What we're doing to support each of the projects, and a lot of this also applies to the labs, because they're the ones that have to jump through the hoops to get to be a graduated project. So. When look, I'm going to start the process from the beginning. So when you're a lab, you're a labs projects, and the first thing you do is go grab a template for labs, a GitHub repository. You take that template and you fill it out with your information and you send it to Tracy or one of the people on the lab stores and they look it over and you go through some hoops and decide if you're going to be a lab. One of the hoops is, again, when you see the best practices, um, one of the hoops is uh, what documentation are you using? And right now the Hyperledger community really doesn't make many suggestions. Um, and we want to make those suggestions. So uh, initially, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, um, I think it still might be down on this page. Initially what we did, was we determined what each one of the projects was using um, uh -huh. their documentation. And you see some of them use yep. uh, make the doc, some of them use, so all of that. Yep. So right now the community has a paid tooling policy. So we want mm -hmm. a uh, paid tooling policy, where'd it go? Oh, I'll find it in a second. We want that paid tooling policy to, um, there it is. Uh, be used. So that is what the paid tooling policy has. It has something that the Hyperledger community as a foundation pays for and offers to each of the projects, which is uh, a way to make your GitHub repository better. So we need to get that information over to the GitHub repository um, 
templates. So what I'm asking um, for the task force, which is you, because you've been such a big part of it, and I so appreciate all the work you've done, is if you want to do this presentation with me Thursday, or if you want to just do it in a month, I think a month might be better for everybody on the call. Um, so what what the what the GitHub repository presentation would be about is this? Hold on, it's loading. I think it's loading. Yeah, it's loading. Is telling the TOC that this is what the task force recommends every GitHub repository have. We recommend it's here on onboarding uh, the website. We recommend it's on the uh, website for developers section. We recommend it's uh, when you come on GitHub for Hyperledger, uh, there's a link there for it. And we also recommend that you have to have this completed and checked off by a lab stored or, or maintainer uh, before you can make this into a, a, a lab project or move to incubation. Um, so there, right there, you hit the two task forces, um, but also presenting this so that, and again, if you have any questions, reach out to Tracy, because this is really her, I'm not really into the GitHub coding side of uh, the technical part. So she really knows all of this. But again, this is what we recommend. Um, that's probably in line with the paid tooling policy. If I know Tracy, uh, is this easy to understand? Do you have any suggestions, Elena, to make this easier for someone um, coming in to pick it up? So that's basically the ask of the task force. Did that answer your question? Uh, more or less. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So again, I hope that you want to do that presentation in a month. Um, work on this GitHub repository. You know, at the next meeting, maybe make your suggestions. Next meeting of the task force, make your suggestions as to what you think the presentation should look like. If you don't want to do a presentation, that's great too. I obviously I love to do presentations. I'm okay. I'm okay with making a presentation <laughs> or at least participate uh, participating in it. Uh, but my first step, uh, as I see it, uh, is actually reach out to Tracy, as you mentioned. Yes, to yeah, learn to make more. sure that yeah, because yeah. yeah. she does yeah. this all the time. She's the yeah. yeah, yeah, she's the one who talks to the labs, uh, lab folks, and she's the one who you know uh -huh. does the best practices. So that would be yeah. great. Um, so that information is all there for anyone to look at, anyone to join, Elena, you know, just put your name. That would be great. Um, right. And then I was, any other questions before I move to the mentorship for documentation? Well, yeah, I had a question. Yes, go ahead. And I'm so glad to see that you filled out your application. Uh, thank you, thank you, Ron. And my question is uh, that, like, we told that we, we can do the presentation or this, so but how would we, uh, we be collaborating and working on the presentation? Can you just clear that out? Because I'm still not able to understand like, how do I contribute in the presentation? Oh, I'm sorry you were coming in and out. I think what I heard you say was how is the mentor going to interact with all of these task forces? Uh, no, no, no. My question was uh, on Thursday. You are talking about this presentation that we can uh, uh, collaborate with you and contribute to the table you had made just now. So uh, my question is like I'm still not able to understand like the part I would be uh, helping in. Like for example, I take the uh, report on GitHub part. So how would I be in contact with you and like how would I collaborate for the contribution in the presentation? As a mentor, I mean, as a mentee? As a mentee, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll get to that in just a second. That's a great question, and I'm going to cover that in just a second. So, um, again, does anybody have any questions about the TOC and the task force ending in a month and what we need to get done in that month? Again, uh, my... oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Osama. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I don't have a question, but I was uh, thinking that I can help you out with this presentation. And if you need, you know, uh, support who can present here with you, I'm available. That would be great. Um, again, I don't think I think we're going to do the presentation in a month. I'm just going to update the task force next week. Um, but uh, I would love it if you could work on any of these. Um, put your name here, and at the next meeting, we'll you know talk a little bit more in depth about what that actual section looks like. Okay. So, do you want me to you know have uh, like a, more of a template, a PowerPoint slide, or? Do you want like I'm just thinking we're uh, curious about what you are like looking for. Um, however, you're comfortable. Um, 
uh, in a month, I would prefer to do the ending um, of the task force as a presentation. So yeah, PowerPoint slides. And again, hopefully we'll have a template. I know that, you know, that's easy to do. You just do a slide and give it to everybody and then they can use it for their presentation. So like I would do the introduction and I would probably give that um, introduction section to everyone so they could use that as like the background colors and stuff. And then you would just do your section any way you want um, on that, you know, couple slides for that section. And then as the presentation goes, we just switch sharing screens and we would practice before we go on. Uh, sure. So, yeah. Uh, well, uh, and there is another question, by the way. So the presentation, like base slides, are there uh, those already there or do we need to make it from scratch? Um, the templates for the community are already there. Um, I would supply them um, as soon as we figure out who needs them. Uh, okay. Uh, it would be great if you can, you know, send me a copy. I will. Oh, well, if you're on the task force, you'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> sure. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no worries. Uh, um, hello. I, so I, don't have I, I do tend for everyone on the call. I am, again, a uh, documenter. Obviously, that's why I'm on the documentation task force. So I write everything down. So if you follow on the um, wiki page for documentation task force, um, which I will double check everybody has by putting it in the chat right now. Hello, so sorry to interrupt ma'am, but actually uh, I was hoping that I could also present with you if it's okay with you. Absolutely, the, yes, absolutely. We can talk next week about um, if you put your name in here somewhere about where you want to, and again, um, we need help with anything, even the introductions to everyone, it would be just wonderful. So put your name on there and next week we'll talk a little bit about more what that looks like. Okay, okay, sure, ma'am. I'd, I'd love to present with you. That would be wonderful. And then again, this is something great to go on your resume or your CV or your LinkedIn profile. This that call is recorded, so you could take that recording and you could splice everybody out but you and put that on your YouTube channel. I can show you how to do all that. So that's always a great uh, tool for your self um, portfolio. Yes, ma'am. It would also be a great learning experience to like present and such great. task forces, right? Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to move on to the mentorship. So again, I broke it down into the four buckets of the GitHub uh, doc stuff, the best practices, the onboarding, and the community. So the mentee is going to have their fingers in all four of these buckets. Anyone else on the call, obviously, since like kind of the task force is the same thing, we're going to keep the task forces running. Um, I'm going to call it in maintenance mode. So as soon as we're done presenting the documentation suggestions to the TOC, that doesn't mean that the documentation task force goes completely away because there's a lot of work to be done to fill out those that those information. So this is just the timeline that the um, I'm going to call it my manager because that's what the mentee is kind of going to do um, is going to be responsible for making sure that all the people who have volunteered for these are on task and the communication is flowing and that you know they're aware of what's going on um, with all of these. So right now, these are the people who completed the tasks. I had a link, I sent everyone a link through LinkedIn to my community calendar that there's a tab there for the interviews for this week. They're set up for Wednesday morning and Friday morning Eastern time, which is evening in India. Um, hopefully early enough for people to still want to do work. Um, so please, if you haven't scheduled your interview, um, please do. Um, and these are just the people who are on the call today. If anybody else has joined, which I'm just checking now. Nope. So that would be um, the people on the call today. So that is good information for me. Um, what the uh, mentorship for me looks like, this timeline obviously is what we're trying to get out by November. So uh, one of the first things, and I don't know if I wrote this down. Uh, so sorry to interrupt again, ma'am, but actually my name is not there in the candidates list uh, that is on your screen right now. I'm just checking. All right, this is not the onboarding. This is the documentation, folks. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm in the document. I applied for the documentation task force. And plus it's same thing for me as well. I've already applied for documentation one, but I don't see my name over there. Oh, don't do this. What do I want? Um... What am I looking for? There we go. No mentee sound. Where's the button I'm looking for? Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to stop sharing so I can fly around and I'm going to open it for questions that hopefully John will answer while I am focused on getting you that information. Yeah, a couple of things that I want to do, Bobby, is we've had a few people join since I uh, went through the introduction. So I'd like a few people to kind of give their background and then also whether they're interested in more of onboarding or documentation. So I'm just going to go ahead and start in the order that I see them on my screen here. So Pranit, you want to uh, come off mute and just give a little background on yourself and why you're interested here and whether you're more interested in the onboarding or the documentation side. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my screen again here. And if somebody wants to be added to this particular onboarding side, let me know. Hey, John, can you hear me? Uh, am I audible? Just to confirm me. Yeah, I, I can hear you fine. OK, OK. Uh, OK, so uh, hi, greetings, everyone. Uh, I am Professor Banerjee. I'm a recent graduate uh, and, and I have a major in electronics and communication engineering and also an upcoming master student at Technical University of Munich. Uh, my, interest, uh, my interests lie in the intersection of uh, technical writing and web development. Uh, for the past three years, I've been digging deep into you know, blockchain technologies. That is how I got interested into Hyperledger. Uh, this summer, I'm actually uh, working uh, as a student intern at Google Summer of Code under TensorFlow. And uh, I have a very good interest in Hyperledger. And this uh, semester, I'm actually working, I'm looking forward to working on the onboarding uh, part of Hyperledger. That's it from my side, I guess. Looking forward to interacting with all. And uh, thank you for uh, giving me an opportunity. Yeah. And thanks for that update. And I did see that you went in there this morning while we were on the call and added your name to this list here for the onboarding task force. So thanks for doing that. You're welcome. Okay, ne next person I'm gonna go to is Pranit, P-R-A-N-I-T. Hello. Uh, uh, myself, Pranit Patil. I am from India and currently in a third year and my interest lies in the onboarding process because that is very interesting for the all developers means developers start with the documentation yes okay perfect and did you also apply for the mentorship program yes. okay great all right uh anything else you want to add there or you're good no that's good. perfect Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, Ankan Shah, I think is another person that's joined after we did intros, so. Actually, I have given my introduction as the first slide, if you remember. Okay, you're, so you're good? Okay, let's try uh, Arunima. Uh, hey, John, can you hear me? Yep, you're coming through loud and clear. Great. Thanks for joining us today. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you so much. And yeah, so hi, uh, hi everyone. My name is Anma Chaudhary. And currently, I'm a final year student and I'm pursuing my BTEC in computer science and engineering. Uh, I have interned with Solana Labs, but I worked on a blockchain based project. After that, I also started technical writing and wrote a few blogs and 
Yeah, and recently, uh, as the LFX many applications came out, I got to know about Hyperledger, and the documentation projects. Uh, uh, kind of uh, it got my interest here because it is focused on blockchain and also documentation. So I'm excited to explore more here and yeah, get more involved with the community and start contributing in any way possible. Thank you. Great. Thanks for joining us. And uh, I also see the last call. We added your name to the list on the onboarding side as well. So yeah, yeah. thanks for uh, you know, giving me that information last time. And then uh, the other thing I'm going to just let you know is that over the next uh, two meetings, I'm going to be out of the office on vacation. So Bobby, I don't know how we want to handle that if you're able to attend those next two meetings and just run the uh, program. If so, that'd be great, but I just won't be able to attend these sessions for two weeks. If I have a problem, John, I'll cancel the meetings, but right now it looks like I'll be around on those Mondays. Okay, great. And I apologize to everyone, but I had this scheduled months in advance and I need to take a couple weeks off here, so. Um, are you going to be available Thursday for the um, presentation about onboarding task force? Un unlikely because I'll be traveling, so. If you want to send me um, notes to read for you, I would be glad to. Okay, great. I'll work on that and send it over to you. Just a few bullet points. So getting back to the question about the mentees, I'm going to um, ask John if I can share my screen again. Go for it. It's all yours. I'm stopping my share right now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is what I have to work with. Um, if everybody can see my screen. So the... Uh, Linux Foundation um, has a button for mentorships um, and I am a mentor. So you can look at the project from this dashboard. And here's one thing I'm gonna say. If you continue on these calls and helping out, which is great, you are going to learn so many different dashboards. It's, it's ridiculous because everything is a dashboard these days. It's the, latest, the latest word is dashboard. So here is the Linux Foundation Hyperledger Mentorship Program dashboard for mentors. So basically this is the um, information for what we're trying to um, accomplish. And then here's what I go off of, and I can only go off of this information. So if your name is not on here and it should be, you need to email Min from the um, mentorship program and her email is easily accessible. If not, I can shoot it in the chat or if John, you can grab that and put it in the chat. So these are the folks. So if your application was withdrawn, I, I'm not sending you a link to my calendar. Um, all of these, whether their tasks submitted is there or not, have completed their applications. So these are the people, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, yeah, seven people completed the application. Everyone else was withdrawn. Um, so if your name is not on here, and it should be, which if we go back to, I have to move this. Um, uh, just to add one more thing. I think there is the next page as well. Yeah, ma'am. <gasps> oh well. my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even notice the next page. So I will be sending all of you the calendar link to schedule within the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I didn't even uh, know. Uh, it would be fine if you can check uh, on the next page if there is my name over there because. Uh, yeah, can you I think check for mine page. also? Can you check for mine also? Yes. Yeah, I can find my name over here, Samantha here. Yeah, yeah, I have my name here. Okay, so I will be sending out I still, a link. I still couldn't find mine. Can you please go on the next page? I have a lot of applications to get to. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's that's. It. So you found it? Everybody found yeah, their yeah. name? Who's supposed to be here? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, I have such an easy week. There's only seven names. Great, I'm done. <laughs> no, you got a lot harder than that. That's a I lot might, of uh, applications. So I do have something that I have, uh, a work deliverable by Friday. 
So I might go into the weekend or Monday. Um, so if you see next Monday on there, that's because um, on the calendar, because I only have so much time to do this this week, um, but I will get it done by Monday, uh, which is still in the time frame for the mentorship program. So don't worry if there's no slots left on Wednesday and Friday, I'll open up a Monday slots too. So I will send that to everyone momentarily. Actually, I'm just going to put my calendar link in the chat. And then you can just go there and see the mentorship schedule, fill out Wednesday and Friday if that's the day. And then in a little while, I will put Monday on there. So it is, which is another software program I'll teach you. Calendly.com, I recommend everybody get it who's into business and wants to uh, network. And it is when you go to see it, it is a calendar program where you can schedule events, you can charge people for your time, you can set up multiple event types, which you'll see when you get to my calendar. Um, again, I'll add Monday um, when I get there. Um, so please, if your name is pending and your tasks are submitted, which I see a lot of people, oh, more than seven. Um, <laughs> good. A lot of people. Um, yep. So that will be wonderful um, to have everyone on board. So that is, yes? Yeah, so like, as to be doing the main, like, let's see if you're in the yes, to be first. So I should be on on 24. So I don't need to change anything, right? For now, meeting on the day. Okay, I'm sorry, you're coming in and out? Could you type that uh, in the chat for me so I can understand what you're saying? Yeah, I'm just saying that do I need to change my schedule? Or if I have scheduled the meeting already, everything is fine then. Um, are you asking, do you need an interview? Uh, no, ma'am. She's I actually have... asking that uh, she has actually scheduled the interview. So whether it will be necessary for her or not to reschedule it or not. No, no. If you scheduled your interview, stick with your interview. Thank you. Did I answer that question correctly? I don't think I did. No, you, you have answered it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So if you've scheduled it, I'm still working um, on the interviews Wednesday and Friday. There should be some times left open on those days, and then I'll add Monday. Okay, so that, let me go back to, oh, no, I don't want this one. Stop sharing for a second. Start sharing again. Sorry about that. Okay, so this will be an exhaustive list by next Monday, I promise. Um, it will have everybody's name on there. Um, if you want to save me the time, you can add your own name um, and that you've completed the task and the area of the task force, any of the task force that you want to focus on. So if you want to do the documentation with the onboarding or the documentation, uh, put it down, work with other task force. If you want to work on the new branding and the templating and the um, that stuff for user documents, um, put your name, put that down. And if you want to work with Elena on the GitHub, put your name down there. Um, so that, let me see, I think that was about it. Does anybody have any questions on documentation? Because we have two minutes left. I've got a question. I think I didn't get your URL for the calendar. So is there a separate URL or is it the one you are showing right now? Um, hold on, I'll go to it. I'll put it in the chat. So let me get to the chat. Uh, because I don't see it in the chat right now. That's why. One moment. Yeah, oh, sorry. I'm having trouble here. Hold on just a second. My computer is starting to act very slow. I apologize. Here we go. Hold on.
So this is the um, Allendy program I was talking about. Um, I set up, um, I think there's a free version where you can just set up basic meetings. Um, but since I have, um, I run a business through here and I have uh, meetings that actually have um, costs associated with them or um, employers associated with them that I have separate meetings. So you would click the Hyperledger Documentation Standards Mentee Interview button. And you'd see I have the 24th and the 26th. I will add the 29th, just click on those days and you'll see what's left. And you can click on any of these to grab them up. Um, if that helps anyone. So I'm gonna just go back and drop it in the chat again. Uh, so all the mentees uh, have to book a meeting with you, right? Correct. Okay, okay, thank you. Correct, correct. Let me get to the chat. I can only get to the chat when I stop sharing. Isn't that interesting? Very interesting. Did everybody get that in the chat? Oh, no, I'm sending it. To, oh, I got it. That was my mistake again. Okay. Here we go. Yep, came through. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, okay. so minute after. Go ahead. Yep, go ahead, minute John. after. I was just going to say, Bobby, we're at the top of the hour, and I have to jump on another call here, but I appreciate everyone joining us today, and please follow up with both Bobby and myself on the mentorships, and we look forward to connecting with you. Bobby, do you want to have any closing remarks? No, just thank everybody. I'm so glad. Like I thought I had seven people. I'm so excited. This is going to be wonderful. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful are day. We we'll catch up. Uh, are we supposed to connect with you as well uh, through the calendar? Uh, the best way to do that is I will be reaching out to the mentors or the mentees uh, this week. And so just look forward to an email from me. I'll post my email here in the chat. If you don't hear anything from me, just feel free to reach out here. Okay, sure. But it'll be very similar to what Bobby's doing. Bobby's way ahead of the curve always on, you know, technology and Calendly is a great uh, program as well. I fully adopt that and that's a great way to do it. Okay, everyone, okay, well, let's go ahead and close the session and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, bye.